You're very welcome to the sports section of our show today. Here I have uh, Philip Sutcliffe from Crumlin Boxing Club. Philip, you're very welcome to the show. Thanks very much. Just going to ask you a couple of questions there on, uh, on, on boxing. Uh, what or who inspired you to start boxing? Well, my whole dad's family is a, has a big boxing background, so I'm boxing since I'm a baby, so... Yeah, and uh, how long have you been boxing for, Philip? About, since I was about four. Four? It's the long time. Stopped for a few years then. So, and, uh, and back into. Can you ever see yourself going professional in boxing, or can you, will you stay amateur, or, or, or what do you think? Well, I'd like to give her a go in the future, sometime in the future. But yeah. It's meant to be hard when you, when you obviously, when you go, when you go it's professional. It's meant to be, some people say it's a, it's a long, it's a long road. It's different from amateur boxing. You have a group of 12 people, maybe more. It could be yeah. 20 people we're trying to win, and, and all of a sudden you're on your own. You've known, you've known around, you're just yourself and you're trying and yeah. your hard sessions. And yeah, and um, just how many, how many weeks, how many days a week would you train? What types of training would you, would you go to? Like, would it be uh, gym sessions, running? It depends on it depends on the preparation of the fights and I train probably six days a week if we're coming up to a fight and I'll have a Sunday off. Sunday off. Sunday yeah. off and then it could be twice a day, then it could be running, then it could be different, it could be pads, it could be sparring, it could be weight training. All different all different training sessions you do. You're obviously tough, very tough like on the body like more on the mind than your body yeah. in any way, but uh, it's hard going on the body, all right, but and your body you, gets used to it. Yeah, and what would you do like for recovery? Like, would you would you be on the shakes, or would you like do the ice bats? Like, you know, you do see all boxers and all stuff like that, and you do all you do all mad, mad stuff to to make that weight and all that. But like, like what would well, for you? What would your recovery be to help you to obviously go into training the next day? Recovery is walking away, walking out of the gym, and turning your mind off from boxing. Going for a walk with your dogs, or going to the pictures, or going yeah. out, or doing something different. Yeah, uh, it doesn't, doesn't involve yeah. boxing. Yeah. But, um, who was your trainer, and, and what do you think of your trainer? Uh, my own father, and there's, I think there's six or seven trainers in their boxing club now, but uh, mainly my me, me father. Yeah, and he'd be, he be obviously our biggest yeah, well. inspiration as well, probably. Uh, how would you prepare yourself for a fight? Like, would you like listen to music or what would you do would you zone off or oh well it depends like before the fight like i'll be all giddy and laughing and then two three fights before i get in now i'll turn serious yeah. and then i'll just fuck and anyone, anyone could be talking to me and just wouldn't That's listen it. i just focused on, on watching stuff yeah yeah do you have to fast like to make your weight like would you not eat and like how, how, how would you do that like <laughs> that's the hardest part about boxing um Coming up there for probably six, seven weeks, you'd be eating right and trying to... It depends how, how big the competition is, if it's a going away or it's just a national competition. Well, there's only one national competition now that you can do, it's the seniors. seniors. So after that, it's it's it's, it's, that. it's like, different. And I say obviously it's hard because you, you probably want to have your donut kebab and chips. Donut like, kebab and chips <laughs> and McDonald's and curries. It's, it's tempting, isn't it? Like, and I say obviously that's hard as well, like, but how would that affect your energy levels in terms of... When you're fast, and how would you like without not without not having the stuff that gives you energy? Like, like what what helps you? Like, you know. Well, they say yeah. How would you eat? Yeah. If you eat a kebab and chips the weekend, you don't feel the best yeah, the next day. Yeah, but it was I'll lovely that night. Yeah. And the feel, the good feel you take in is the bad, the bad feel. But and what that, what kind of fluids though would you like? Would there be fluids like? Would you? Have I would, like a, a powder that you put in no, the drink, none I, of that, I'm just not, water. I'm all skilled. Wa skilled. Wa water and uh, juice, that's it. Water and juice. Yeah. Uh, what is your greatest boxing moment? Like, I know you've represented Ireland, I know you've won the, I think it was the, the 23s? Or the, the, the under 21s, I won. The under 21s. Uh, the seniors. The seniors was a, a good year, I stopped everyone in the weight. Like, there was yeah. no, no one in the history no. of Ireland stopped anyone in three fights in that boxing. But, uh, my biggest, um, maybe they got to the world. When I got to the world, I hurt my hand the last day in the training camp, the very last day in the training camp. That just, so, yeah. that just blew everything out of the water for yeah. me. So it's so. all, it's all about luck as well. Like, That's it. When you get, when you get there and you have seventy odd people in your way, or probably eighty three or eight more, like ninety, because all the countries yeah. in the world are there. You say, who, who's, what, what kind of draw am I gonna get? Who, you could draw someone like a poor nation and. 
you could go in with one hand and win. But uh, it's all the look. Look at the draw. What was it like? Like representing Ireland? Like was it? Oh, was great, it great, like, great, yeah. great feeling. Good. Once you're training, done. You don't care. Like once you're away, and you say, right, matter day on the train, matter been dying, matter been spending a month away training, training camps in the heat or in the cold. Doesn't matter where it is. You have That's to be it, away yeah. from your own home. No. So it's tough, like on the mind as well. Like you know, like it's, it's tough. obviously I say it's tough being away from home, and then obviously like when you're over there, say like all you want to do is just get in the ring and box, then, isn't it? Yeah, but you want you want the over as quick as possible. As soon as the training, you're in a training camp probably ten days or two weeks, and then you have another two weeks away or in a in a in a competition. But it's hard going like when you're away for that long. Look, as well, you were talking about the titles that you won. They look like, over the years, probably from junior. What what kind? What titles have you won? All Ireland, <coughs> Leinster's, Europe. What? Have you been? Have you no, won um, European stage? I would come back come back boxing when I was about fifteen. Of uh, I had a bit of hard luck in nearly all the All Irelands. So then I, oh, I was, I think it was eight days when I won my first All Ireland. I think it was the under twenty ones. I won that, and then the following year, following year I won the seniors, and that was a bit. And since the senior level for the last six years, probably last five years, I'd say, been boxing abroad and then winning competitions abroad, multi nations, EU is. Uh, then the walls I got then and I hold my hand and ever since since that yeah. the problem with the so hand. So like even though even just the winning all over in the loan, it's, ah, it's a big big big, a big achievement. A big major. That's made that's a big thing, like uh, But uh, just what is your hopes and dreams for the foreseeable future? Well <laughs> hopefully probably go pro in a few years' time or yeah. give it give it a give try. Give it a try you know, and yeah. anyway you can't say I turn yeah. it turn it down. Just uh looking forward to uh, Doing a different style of boxing. Yeah, that, yeah. And obviously the, the, the different train as well, training ah, right different. On, yeah, that's probably, it. It'll probably benefit you because you said you like to be, like to just sound in and out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, no one likes to be on their own. Well, it's, no, it's grand having to laugh yeah, when you're training and then that, yeah, the someone boys the boys kicking you up the arse or, yeah. or holding you when you're running. It's different altogether. It's just. Well, well that's it. That's it from uh, Philip for today. Yeah, I'd like to thank you for coming in. For Appreciate Thanks. it. No problem. And uh, all the best for the future. Whatever you stay amateur, I go pro. We appreciate you coming in and thanks very much. Thanks.